quite nervous for later, yeah. I actually had a, um, <laughs> I had a nightmare about us losing. I remember I woke up not sure if it was real or not. <laughs> I think that speaks for itself. How nervous I am, or how much this means to me. But I feel like um, the loss did as well. Uh, sounds weird, probably. And I wasn't here for the whole lower bracket meme that uh, came along last year. I don't know if this is what they meant, but um, I think the loss did us well in a way. Because I think we are better now than we would have been if we won against Mad last week. Like basically going into this finals weekend, I think we're better because we lost last week than if we would have won. Um, obviously, we're playing another best of five, so two instead of one, which could be worse for winning the whole thing since we have to show more. But it also sounds kind of hype and fun. Um, I guess the other guys have done it already, so they know how it feels. I have not been in this situation before. Both last spring and last summer, we were the team that was waiting in finals, so... It's new for me, but it sounds, seems fun, hype to play two best of fives back to back, so hopefully we can make it two by winning tonight. I like playing with pressure, yeah. The more the better, I think. I feel like uh, I'm at my best when I play the big games. And it's hard, I mean, it helps a bit that we're in the studio, but it's hard even now to feel like it's a big game. Because there's no one there. Like when you take off your headset after the game, there's no one there. It's completely different from playing in an arena with 10k people in there. So I think, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a bad excuse, right? But I think I would be better if um, the world went back to normal. I also think it's a really bad excuse because everyone has the same circumstances. So it's just a matter of making it work. And I don't think if we lose, or let's say we lost last week, I don't think it was because there was no crowd. <laughs> I think we lost because we were the worst team of the two. And I think if we lose tonight, it will be the same. And if we lose tomorrow, if we make tomorrow, it will be the same. It's not going to be because there was no crowd and we weren't hyped up enough. It's going to be because we're the worst team. And to me, that's completely fine. If we lose because we're the worst team and we did everything we could to win, I'm fine with that. So the Karma bot is kind of weird. But for example, if you rewatch game one, that game should be a win for us. And then all of a sudden, people are not saying Karma is a problem. People are saying Karma is just like Seraphine was, like a saving grace in a way. But for sure... We're a bit shattered after losing twice with it, so it's not gonna be our first priority, I think. So, like, it's still a threat of ours, which is something I actually like about this team. Like, they don't just shut down all the ideas and go for one thing over and over. Like, they're kind of crazy, you know, in G2. I guess that's how they've always been, just playing a lot of different things. And um, I like how they don't just shut down something because it doesn't work once or whatever. So it's still a threat of ours. Whatever draft gives us, you know, we go for. And in some cases, I think Karma has merit. But obviously, I cannot tell you if um, that's the case tonight or not. But just trust me in this, okay? We're trying our absolute best to win. And if we don't win, we tried our absolute best to win. That's enough already. We're not going to go on stage tonight or tomorrow if we make tomorrow and half-ass this whole thing. We're going to go there and we're going to try our best to win. That's it. That's the speech.